And and you the spectators can come out and watch if they want. Absolutely, we had around twenty seven thousand spectators attend last year, and with it being a new event, we were very pleased with that. And so we're trying to expand the footprint of the event this year and really get more community organizations involved, and the chamber type organizations involved, and other nonprofits involved. So I wouldn't be surprised if the weather holds out and it's just like it was last year. We could have thirty five to forty thousand people attend. Wow, that's quite a few people. Yeah, yeah, no, that's what we're hoping for, and our ticket prices are very reasonable. They started just ten dollars for early in the week, and then twenty five dollars for later in the week during the competition rounds, and then a weekly badge is just sixty five dollars. Then we have some upgraded options available, but we feel it's a, a very affordable for the product that's coming to town. And it seems like I remember reading somewhere where you also are looking for volunteers to come out and help. Absolutely. We could not put on an event of this nature without the help of volunteers. We had almost 600 volunteers assist us throughout the week last year. And we asked that the volunteers serve a minimum of three shifts. They're four to five hours in nature. We provide all the food and beverage when you're out here working. We give you an additional credential to bring a guest out. And we generally, we just try to take really good care of them throughout the week because what better way to demonstrate the Hoosier hospitality than to kind of be the face of the event, helping people get around, taking tickets at the tournament gate and just marshalling the holes or they're just incredibly unique opportunities and the packages to be a volunteer start just $50 and we already have 400 signed up this year. Wow that's quite a few. Yeah. Yep.